Hey there, I'm Arwazi, and welcome back to Civilization Beyond Earth, Apollo Twins with Kool-18. Hey, folks. And we're really striking back. Yep, we are. <laughs> we certainly are. We're, like, demolishing the striking back. So the pack have two carriers over here, but I don't think they actually have any planes. And there's actually a derelict settlement almost in the middle of my territory that I noticed just now. Oh, really? Yeah. Must have popped up recently, or maybe I was just oblivious to it. Uh, it's probably a station that like was there and then didn't mm. get used. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. There was a station there. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. I might even start a city over there. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure if I want to bother at this point with even more city micromanagement. Yeah. Probably not. So I was saying in the uh, the break that. I'm gonna be really sad when the PAC mm -hmm. go away and I lose all of their uh, all their satellites. There's two yeah. weather control satellites and mm -hmm. uh, solar collector. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you will. Yeah, I'm sure. And I'm still gonna kill them, obviously. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we can dart through this area. I got a lot of floatstone now, although. Mm -hmm. Oh, they didn't have terraforming either. They had huge amounts of floatstone. Oh, okay. But they but didn't ever improve it. Like I was like, yeah. nice ten stack of floatstone and another three captured Kuyen. Well, I was really worried based on how the start of the game went when I like mm -hmm. failed to take Tiangong. I'm like, oh, I put us way too far behind. Yeah. But things are groovy. I was a little bit worried when I saw how hard it's going to be. To take any cities from the Slavic Federation. Yeah. You can see uh, the KPs are building up their military defenses, though. Mandir's up to yeah. 71 already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They're freaking so the out. It's actually reacting. Yeah, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, oh, I agree. It's possible we weren't giving them as much credit for things just because we didn't, mm -hmm. you know, realize all the decisions that we're making. There's still room for yeah. improvement, obviously, but. Oh. Thank you for donating a colonist. I'm going to make sure to grab that before I eliminate you from the game. Boop. That's not going to help them, the extra defense in Mandira. I can just roll over that city, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I suspect you're right. So Tiangong is finally out of resistance. And these hover units are actually awesome. The mobility they have is amazing. It's got to help a lot. This mm -hmm. is going to be a hill, so shooting the city is actually going to be very problematic. Oh, unless I go into the sea. Yeah, being able to shoot these cities from mm -hmm. the ocean from range 3 without having to worry about line of sight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually amazing. Right, just enough destroyers to make sure to maintain naval superiority. Mm hmm Oh, I can pass through Kien. That's good. And fortify. Just realized that I had my asthma blocking trade routes from one of my cities. I was confused earlier. Why do I not have any viable trade routes from this city? Oh, that's why. Yeah, I was having the same issue with one of my other ones. Well, I just didn't realize I couldn't send anything to them. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, poor outpost never got a boost to growth. Yeah. Uh, if I move a plane here, would that be better? I don't think it makes much of a difference. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, I can actually bomb it from that city. Cool. Wow, I can send an internal trade route to a city mm -hmm. that will produce nothing. <laughs> that seems useful. Mm -hmm. Like, I get annoyed when it doesn't produce any food, but literally nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what? That last city seems to have the gene vault. I'm just saying. 
The last pack city? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Because they still have the gin vault, so it has to be there. Right, that makes sense. Well, it should be a pretty easy kill. So, one, two, three. Although we can't shoot this turn, because we still got to set up. And here, one, two, three, good. Let's set up. Blow that up. All right, pretty good. Uh, more workers. Sometimes the uh, the production mm -hmm. window kind of gets stuck. Yeah. I click on it, and it doesn't close, and it's like, are you responding to my commands? Yeah, I had that happen. Foundry where we can. I'm gonna keep pumping out a few more military units for the follow-up war. Franco Iberia is gonna be pretty big, mm -hmm. and you know might have some challenges. I feel like we've got a pretty good momentum going, but things can always invert itself pretty quickly. Yep. Yeah, Franco Iberia has a lot of crap. You can see. It. Oh, I miscounted. Can't actually reach. Oh well. Which is why it would be nice to get at least one planet carver. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot of territory, I'm surprised. You don't have any more petroleum? Yeah, it's actually a little bit weird. There's not a lot of petroleum on this side of the continent in general. Usually I get, like, tons of it, and I hate it because of the unhealthiness, mm. but I actually don't have a lot either. There's mm -hmm. a little bit more up here, so we can get it going at some point. I only have literally one source. I'll go and hook up this other source. It's a sack of five. I'll have ten in total then, because I think it's well, they're both five. Yeah. I think I only have two sources, though. Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't even see any other sources. The closest source I see is on that island to the east that I never bothered. Oh, I have another source here. Okay, I actually have quite a bit. If you want some petroleum right now, well, we don't have the Planet Carver tech. Yeah, yeah I, I do have six, so I'm okay-ish. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to need another source once I finish off the pack. Okay, so I'm going to be I'm going to be swimming in petroleum. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't sound very healthy. But. I'm currently using it for the Hollow Matrix times three, but that should deorbit by the time we get that tech. We need a road up to here, yeah? Yeah. Um, I wish so much I could just tell automated workers to not build. Mm -hmm. Any yeah, terra escapes same. or like workshops or anything like manufacturing and then just automate. Mm -hmm. I would definitely do that. Build farms if you can build farms. Otherwise, try to build mines. Otherwise, you know, go ahead and build a generator or something. Like, just set a priority queue. Yeah. Actually, if it could just be, and uh, some of the old games used to have that, where mm -hmm. you could just tell them to prioritize hooking up resources. Mm -hmm. That would be plenty good. Oh yeah, that would be more than enough. Let's try to blow that up. Okay, so do you want to wait to take that last city before we declare war on KP? Um, I don't mind waiting a bit. The KP will be with Brasilia. Mm -hmm. um, I'll need to get a couple of units in Gensrig just to make sure. Although, no, there's a big border here. There's actually... Brasilia can't do anything to me. And mm -hmm. I think they're in a war against Franco-Iberia. And they're losing. Okay, they're not currently at war, but they were at war. Yeah, you can declare war whenever you want. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% okay. fine. The problem will be Franco-Iberia because they're gargantuan. All right. Well, we could go for Franco Iberia last. Yeah, well, and I think that's probably kind of what's going to have to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, this unit is irrelevant. Let's go ahead and bring you up here. That. 
Yay, quest complete. Worm killing. Nice little reward. 50 science right now isn't worth a lot, mm -hmm. but it's still nice. <laughs> my science output is still crap. Oh yeah, I finished my level destroyer. But he won't really get to Mandira fast enough to be relevant. But hey, I got one. Nice. That's what counts, right? I'm gonna try to get a little bit more science and money. If you need cash to buy anything real quick, mm -hmm. let me know. I owe you a few okay. bucks. I have enough. My income is not that impressive, but I have 1600 energy. Did I tell you to build a road over here? Oh, there's a canyon there. Uh, I see. And I definitely need to get a nice mag rail up to the front. It's going to mm -hmm. be pricey, but it's going to be well worth it. Evolved battleship took one damage from an enemy gunner. Who knows? Boom. There we go. And I lost my satellites. But there's no more pack. There's no more Slava Federation. Yep, Team nice. three. Obliterated. <laughs> completely gone. Yep. Um, yeah, okay. I'll build the one more hollow matrix. Because, oh yeah, I do have access to tons of oil. I forgot. I'm fine. So, rocket battery. Didn't I already get a thing for the rocket battery? I'm sure I did. Because I'm pretty yeah. sure I took the plus one orbital strike range. Oh, that might have been I when we got I the did. crash. It might have reset that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not, that might be. But I do remember you getting it, so... That happened at some point. Yeah, my internal trade routes are not quite as sexy as they were before. Two more beakers. I like I like how we're going to peace by virtue of running out mm -hmm. of enemies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna set these battleships out here to keep an eye out on things, I suppose. I could send them to the Brazilian territory, but I don't think I would gain anything from doing that. Verify what the train looks like down here, just in case. Did you declare war, by the way? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I'm just repositioning my units a little bit. Yeah, a fairly big border with Franco Iberia to defend, mm -hmm. which is a little bit scary. Most likely, it's going to be focused around Gansrig. It's not. Not strictly so. But that's not the whole we're declaring war on right now. No, but when we get to that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It would be nice if we could get Franco Iberia to attack Brazil or something. Then again, well, you know, we might want to take Citadella somehow. Or we'll have to do it before we go for Franco Iberia. Um. I mean, if we want to attack Franco Iberia last, our goal would be to take every capital city in the game, right? Well, true, but I'm not sure that grabbing Citadella is mm -hmm. um, sort of practical before going to war with Franco Iberia. And it's not, maybe you not. know, Citadella might be the last capital we end up grabbing. Mm -hmm, maybe. Which is fine. I think once we break Franco Iberia enough to take their capital, mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to be able to take it back. We can just bulk up around there at some point and then throw some units at Citadella and it should fall over pretty quick. We'll have a pretty big tech edge. Or we should. And I think I'll declare war on the next turn. Okay. Alright, this worker.
this guy. Definitely needs to build a road that goes up to here. Actually, instead of putting artillery in my capital, I should maybe build a few ranger units mm -hmm. if I want to leave things behind. It makes more sense to use the artillery to actually take cities. Oh, there's some stupid alien nest between us. That's oh. where all the aliens are coming from. Right, right, right. I remember seeing that at some mm. point. I'm going to destroy that. They are getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. And if we cleared that up, we'd open up some... Well, we could build a mag rail. Mm -hmm. Although with a lot more workers means a lot more micromanagement and that mm -hmm. much more likely that I'm just going to want to automate them. But I can't afford a bunch of Terrascapes right now. <laughs> yeah. Plus 5% production for military units from repair facilities. Yeah. Let's get that. And actually probably make sure we got repair facilities all over. I don't think, no, if I've built very many of them. Nice little choke point here. Ayan is probably pretty safe from counterattacks. Although I suppose I might feel safer if I have one defensive unit. Okay, I'm going to declare war, I think. Okay. Man, it's taking me Not a long time to my units. Waiting any longer. Oh, yeah, you're going to be able to run them over. Mm. Food, nine hammers, a little bit of food. Yeah, let's do that trade route. Now, a bunch of my trade routes got canceled, so I'm gonna have to reassign them here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this should be okay. Actually, I can probably buy some more trade routes, can I? Oh yeah, they stopped no chance. Trade vessels do stack in a tile. I'm like, why can I build multiple trade or buy multiple trade vessels? But that's because that is legal. All right. Industrial ecology. Oh yeah, plus one production from farms. That is going to be really good. Let's build a few wardens. <laughs> I took the uh, the better Terrascape thing because at some point mm -hmm. I'm going to automate my workers. Yeah. I'm like, if mm -hmm. I'm going to get Terrascapes, <laughs> let's just accept the fact that they're going to be slightly... Oh better. yeah, that's true. Okay, let's grab the extra range. Well, it will be mine on the next turn. <laughs> It's wow. already down to zero. I just can't attack it with a melee unit on this turn. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Oh, 
Stone Quarry. There's no chance these things are about to get sunk by Brasilia, is there? Oh no, they're fine. Actually, I'm wondering if I should move my destroyers off the coast of Brasilia. Just beat up on their stuff. I like that idea. And does that. <laughs> that was very quick. Yeah, it was. You gonna keep going? Take more? I don't see why you uh, shouldn't. Yeah, maybe. It's pretty open. Mm -hmm. You got nothing yeah, else to take do. More. It will make it easier to attack other people in the future if I take more. Yeah. So that makes sense. And I want to put my Blev Destroyer to use. It's still heading in that general direction. Here, just to new. That little icon in the bottom right corner of my screen has gone blank for some weird reason. Mm -hmm. I did almost lose one unit during this war. Oh no! <laughs> almost build lose one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I almost lost one unit. How tragic. Oh, and I can actually attack Syra through the sea with these you... hover units. <laughs> oh, that's, so that's true, yeah. that's actually a pretty good plan. Pretty good plan. It's super good. You get perfect line of sight mm -hmm. and you're out of range of the city. These units are amazing, mm -hmm. now, when I think about it. For domination, they are amazing. Now, a lot of... Uh, well, I guess everyone eventually gets a certain mm -hmm. amount of hover going on. But oh, I yeah, think true. purity gets more because, I don't know, float zone mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, probably. Between being able to use titanium early and then mm -hmm. the, the early hover units, I feel like purity kind of rocks it in terms of the military units. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. And they don't have the stupid saber. Well, I mean, maybe they do. I, I actually don't know what all the purity units are. Wow, Citadel is really big. I think that's the biggest city, actually. Sinosure. Right. I don't think anyone's progressing towards a victory in any way. No, probably not. No. Franco Iberia is 50% of Provence land, which means they have the technology and the uh, affinity. No, they don't have the affinity, so they must have the technology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we've got lots of time. Yeah. We would have to really mess up to blows now, I think. Well, in before in, that in the happens. Position we're in. <laughs> but yeah, in the position we're in, especially once we get the planet carvers. Yeah. I can get some petroleum if we attack Brasilia. They have a city on that island with like nine petroleum in range of that one single city. Wow. Oh, KP Explorer. Really? Really? My destroyer mm -hmm. couldn't one-shot an embarked explorer? <laughs> what? Okay. All right. GG, let's restart. That's, that's funny. Yeah, I did 82 damage to it. Didn't actually kill it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm like one-shotting land military units. Yeah. But, all right. But yeah, industrial ecology, that would be so nice when that completes. Which probably means I'm going to have to keep my uh, workers on manual and encourage them to build lots and lots of farms. Mm -hmm. Probably. I'm still 
using all my workers manually, but it's a little bit tedious. And I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing, I'm just looking for a tile with no improvement and getting whatever. Right, I'm spamming out a bunch of workers, I definitely need a lot more. Is there still a nest over there? There is. I think he'll attack me here. Got the float stone. I don't know where that explorer went, and I'm still really pissed. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, there it is, although I guess I better kill the sea dragon. Which I had no problem doing. I mean, it helped that it was already a bit damaged, but come on! Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we have a road here. Oh, uh, no, we have that road. Okay, good. This build road to Magan stopped. Oh, it's about to hit population 20, which is nice. Finally getting a decent sized empire and decent sized cities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this 10% extra food or whatever that you get as the African Union. Yeah, uh, it's pretty know. good. It, it could be, but it's not really. Uh, I don't think well, I took a very good advantage of it this game, mm -hmm. is what I was going to say. And you did take Ginvald recently. That should be in oh, one point. one of the cities. Didn't even check mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. Yeah. There should be a gin vault in there. That will actually help. So that's pretty good. I'm still at that might be... no happiness, but you know. Mm. Yeah, I'm at plus 10 and I'm not even trying. And there's a lot of cities that are still missing a lot of happiness buildings. Yeah. You don't have more. You've got all the happiness buildings. Got the country, though. Or health buildings. I still call them happiness buildings because, you know, we know mm -hmm. what there are. <laughs> yeah. I thought the same sometimes. It's normal. Let's get the auto plant. But this is a lot of micromanagement now. Oh. He's actually yeah. getting out of hand. <laughs> I, sp I just spammed out so many workers, too, mm. so it's the same. I mean, it's good, it's strong, but yeah. here in just a second. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah, we'll finish building a, a terrascape on that terrain. Wasn't there another leviathan around here somewhere? Maybe not. Nope. And like, the one thing that makes micromanagement harder in case of workers is that Maybe it's just me, but it's not very obvious sometimes which tile is improved and which isn't. Yeah. In in Civ 5, it's so obvious graphically. You can immediately see a non-improved tile. And here, I really struggle to tell the difference sometimes. No, I agree completely. There's um, it, It's everything about the color scheme they pick. There's not mm. as much high contrast going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and some games get it and some games don't. Like, it's, it's really incredible how... Mm -hmm. It's it's a subtle thing. There's some companies that do a really good job of it. Valve is always exceptionally good at making yep. everything pop and through mm -hmm. use of color and shape. And Civ Five was really good for that. This one less so, especially with the miasma. Yeah. And, I don't know. That's life sometimes. Okay, that's a good trade route. And this worker. Oh, so close to just wanting to automate all this crap. 
These are just roads, right? Yeah, so. Well, the automated workers will take care of that at some point. I think you have more cities than me. I got 11. Um, Sorry, my ball have 11. I think I have 10. Mm, okay. Yeah. And you just had ancient tomb pop in the middle of your territory. Oh, really? Yeah, east of Tiangong. Uh, See it? Oh, there we go. Amazing. I still have an explorer. He's on idle right over there, so I guess I'll send him over there. But we should wrap this up. So let's, yep. Mm -hmm. Let's make a cut. Yeah. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, folks. See you next time.